All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is JP. I'm a part time eBay reseller. And today we're going to go through some solds, obviously, first. And then we're going to go to many, many a charity shops. I'm going to do a big, big, big sourcing day today. So let's start with this little monster truck here. This is the Bone Shaker. I actually sold the bigger version the other day. And this sold for six pounds. Picked that up most likely for 50p if it was at the car boot it would have been 50p possibly even cheaper good little sale there six quid can't complain next one is this this is a majorette majorette majore however you pronounce it i do not know nivelus i also don't know how to pronounce that i don't know if you can see that it says it there i think it's an earth grader yeah some kind of die cast farming vehicle thing that's over £12, and I've picked that up for £2, I think. It's been here a while, but yeah, that's that one. Good little sales there. Not a lot sold. There is two more items, but this is what happens. This is the reality of being a part-time eBay reseller because I do not have the time to consistently keep uploading and uploading and uploading and uploading and uploading, listing, listing, listing. You know what I mean? I just don't have... I don't always have the time. My job sometimes becomes a bit more full-on where i'm working a lot more and i also do things with my life so that gets in the way sometimes but it is what it is definitely see an effect on the sales when that happens when i'm not listing every day but we still sold some good things and we sold a massive jesus she just headbutted me this is a dragon ball z bulma plush and it is absolutely massive. As you can see, her head is bigger than mine. And that was £4 in the charity shop. That sold pretty quick, a few hours after I listed it for £18. So maybe you could have squeezed a bit more pennies out of that one. But you know what? It's big. It's bulky. It's taking up a lot of room. I'm happy to see it go. I'm not going to complain at that. And there was just no, no other souls to go on as well. So couldn't really decide what price to put it at. I put it at 20 quid, someone sent me an offer, and no, I sent them an offer, and they accepted. Anyway, next one, last sale, is this Heli Hansen jacket. Really nice ski snowboarding jacket, and that was £10 from the car boo uh, about two weeks ago. That sold for £50 to someone in South Korea, which is pretty crazy i don't know how much they paid for the postage it doesn't always tell you but yeah 50 quid for that so nice profit out of that one really really good still gonna look out for heli hansen especially like ski snowboarding jackets and realistically they'll sell all year round especially if you're selling them all over the world so don't just be seasonal don't be the seasonal guy don't think i'm not gonna pick that up because it's not winter what about winter at the other side of the world you know anyway i don't know what i'm saying i'm just running we're gonna hit the charity shops we're gonna find some good stuff today i can feel it i can feel some some banging items coming so let's do this we'll see you in there goodbye goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>
All right, we are back and we're ready to go through everything that we found today. We found a loads of stuff. We've been to Chesterfield. God bless the people of Chesterfield. Chesterfield. Ch God bless the people of Chesterfield for donating all their items and and for the charity shops to make them cheap enough for me to buy. But yeah, we're going to go through that first. I just want to show you a sale that's just come through. Is these Harkila Forester boots. I actually picked these up in Chesterfield about a month ago. And I had them listed for £100. Bit of interest, no sale. Reduced it to £79.99. And there's, someone has just given me an offer of 70 So really happy with that. I bought them for £10 from Chesterfield. So that's those. And this is the haul. It looks a bit small, but we've also got this massive pile of clothes here. So, yeah, we found lots of clothing. We're going to go through it. We're going to run through it really quick. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do these things first. I bought these for me. These are some Adidas Terex shoes. I'm just including this because look at the price on these. £32. That ain't bad at all. Regular retail price is £70. You could probably flip these and sell them for like 60 quid on eBay or something. Not loads of money, but that's a bit of profit. You can do that. Go to the reduced section in TK Maxx and, you know, you can actually make some profits. Let's go through these. Little Sushi Go game. This is a cool little game. I think I have this already as well. So this is just for selling, but it's just nice and easy. It's £1.50, probably worth about £8. We've got some little figures here. Random little stuff in here, but I did notice some Pokemon figures. So this is just really going to be for the collection and then we'll see what else there is. Some little mine, little pony figures. They could be worth something, but, you know, they're not going to be worth much. It's not really it to make money from. This one, again, kind of the, not really the same, but £1.50 for this bundle of PJ masks. And they're just, I've just got a few bits, so I'm just trying to keep going, get a bundle going, then I'm going to sell them all together. And then someone had donated a massive collection of Stephen King books, and I just went through them all and picked out all the first editions. So we've got Stephen King, Songs of Susanna, The Dark Tower, that's a hardback. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five paperbacks. These were all 50p each. That was a pound. Probably about eight to ten pounds on that one. Probably about four to five pounds on each of these. So maybe I'll just sell them as like a, a first edition bundle for a collector. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, just got another sale. Nice. Okay, this is a Pokemon playset and it was four pounds. Should be worth about 15 to 20 pounds, that one. Uh, let's go through the clothes. All right, like I said, there is lots of stuff. So I'm going to try and rifle through these real quick. Got some Adidas golf trousers in this shop. Like, they had a sale and everything was like £2.50 that I was finding. So really happy with those. A little mark on them there, but that should come off. 20 to £20 pounds for them, I reckon. £20 pounds for them. Maybe a little bit less, but we'll see. £2.50 again for this Metallica hoodie. It's nothing special. It is Metallica, but it's like divided the brand in any way. Probably just going to give that to a mate, see if he wants it. He's a big Metallica fan. So that's that one. Reese men's trousers. Again, £2.50. Again, probably 20 quid for those. So really good profit. We've got this as well from the same shop. £2.50 for this Nike polo. I'll probably just keep this one. Just like polo shirts especially night ones especially night golf ones i love wearing them don't know why this is really comfy levi's pocket tee stripe design size large probably i don't know can't remember two pounds fifty anyway so probably only ten pounds on that one nothing special uh a rydale shirt nice big size xl you know it's coming up to summer you know farmer john's gonna want to wear that this summer really really nice Really nice shirt. I'm just kidding. It's worth about £10. It's nothing special. Crag Hoppers, quarter zip fleece, size medium. Again, £2.50. Probably 10 to 15 on that one. Ah, got a big Puma Originals puffer down jacket. This was just really cool. I was umming and ahhing about this one for ages because it's got a broken zip. Um... It is size small, but it's like it's like that old size small that's actually like today's size medium large, you know. It's quite big. It fits me really well. Maybe I'll just keep this one. I just really like it, to be honest. I don't have a puffer jacket, but 
if I was to sell it, 30 to 40, I reckon. Maybe a bit more if uh, the zip wasn't broken. All Saints. Just a nice little uh, polo. It's a cotton linen blend. So that should be nice for the summer as well. That was £6, so pay up a little bit for that. That shop, I showed you a little bit, but man, they had so much stuff. It's like a reseller had just gone and took all his inventory to that shop. There was loads of Levi's, loads of Nike, loads of Adidas, um, and loads of jackets that were really good. But they were all just a bit too expensive. I picked out two things. But this was £2, even though it says 4 four ninety five. Everything in that shop's two pounds. That's a different shop. And this is a John Smedley Sea Island cotton V neck. Yeah, two quid for that. Should be about twenty to twenty five on that one. Bargain. We got some Oakley shorts. I just said the other day I've never sold anything at Oakley, and then I found like two things quite in quite a quick succession. These were three pounds. They're like a board short surfing swimming you know what i mean quite a nice little camo ish design so probably 10 to 15 on them and we got these guramichi never heard of this brand before but these caught my eye because you know you know i sell this kind of stuff outdoor hiking waterproof trousers they were 12 pounds but i had a quick look and they should be selling they were selling for like 45 pre-owned so should be about 50 to 60 on them let's keep a total going and we'll keep and we'll and we'll do a total at the end see how much i think i can make another ride ale for farmer john three quid for this one just a bit nicer this one i think bit of a nicer color yeah size xl Probably wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't XL. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. This one is a Henry Lloyd. Henry Lloyd. Henry Lloyd. Henry Lloyd sailing legend. I just I just quite like this little embroidery here. Stripe pattern. It's got, it go, it's got something going for it, this little polo shirt. It's very basic other than that. But £3.50 for that. Should be 10 to 15 again. Almost on the last thing, not quite. We picked up some Hein Gedick. I'm presuming is like a German brand. These are motorcycle trousers. I've never picked up motorcycle trousers before. I know they can be worth obviously quite a lot of money. So I just thought I'll get these ones. They they seem to be selling for about 40 to 50. And and these just looked in particularly good condition as well. So that's why I bought those. They were £10, 40 to 50 on those, I reckon. And I think this is the last thing. We're going to end with something a little boring, just the standard crag hoppers. These were £5. Should sell for 20 to 25 because they are lined. So that's an extra bit of a selling point. And they're a nice big size and they're black. So they should be selling pretty quick, I would imagine. But... You never know with these things. Sometimes I sell them quite quick. Sometimes they stick around for a while. And that's it. That's the haul. I think that was a really good haul. I went through that so quickly. But that's good. We don't want to waste time out here. We've got busy, busy lives. We've got stuff to do. We ain't sitting about doing nothing. Chatting nonsense. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, man. Just hit it. It's just it's right there. I don't know. And the subscribe one as well. Hit that. Hit that button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, goodbye.